Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Oral Wages. Now today we are going to do the boss battle small game, Crown Dungeon. And because, well, I forgot to record in the last video and apologize for this monster. And plus, obviously, we can see things a little bit a little bit different. Well, I just have to hurry up and power rescue here and obviously just not care about treasures. So, let's get to it and we're gonna battle smog. Here we go. Smog. And he says, it's time for a little game. I break apart, and if you can force me back together and blow me away, it ends. But before you do, I should take a little bit of your soul. Now, begin. Yeah, that's what he says. And he's not that hard. So, all you have to do is form these goons back together, like that. And there's many more phases besides that. And it shouldn't be that hard, really. But just take your time. You can't get tricky time to time. And all you have to do is watch out for his little small clouds, and then after that, uh, that will obviously take a lot of damage. So, that's all you have to do. And watch out for his thunderbolts, too. That will bring great shock, too. So, that's all you have to do. And, uh, phase three, right here, all you have to do is do the same thing as phase two, but a little bit trickier. Um, it can work some quite there. Yeah. Alright. And here is the final phase. Now that one can be a pain in the butt. Okay, so all you have to do is watch out for the small clouds again, and I hate these small clouds. And that's nice. Come on, stop. It's lagging. Why did it have lag? That, seriously, why did it have to lag? That oh, that was not even right. Oh, there it goes, spawning off the screen again. I hope not. Kind of shifted over there. Alright, come on. This can be very, very, very annoying. There we go. Wow! Yeah, you saw that, did you? Alright, Smog is defeated, and we get a heart container. Yay! Okay. Yeah, I felt like doing that. And then for this, we get the sacred soil. Alright, this is the time. Yay, we get some sacred soil. Yes, we get some sacred soil. I don't know if we're gonna do the sacred soil, but hey, it's required for our adventure, so it's okay. Okay. Better make the trade to say a few things, and then after that, we're going to be on our way to all six. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Oracle of Seasons. Now, um, we're going to get the secret today that we got from Ages from the Rolling Ridge. Now, all we have to do is take it to Suboria and take it to the Smith Shop. So, let's go do that right now. Okay. Now uh, here is my original save file for Orville Seasons. I think one of the secrets you get a heart piece, and after that you complete the heart piece, um, you get all four of them to get a heart container that gets all the heart pieces. So, well, all the heart containers really. All right, so let's hop over to this pit of lava and the Smith Shop's right here. Okay, welcome to the Suburban Smitty. Now, we do the finest work in land, but we only take jobs that interest us. The two back in the masters of the trade, I am the manager. Hmm, the master speaks. Hmm, is that so? The master's eyes cannot be deceived. Has anyone told you the secret for getting your shield forge? Yes, they have. Then tell me. Now, it is. If you're playing my secret game, it's Dash. 22... Then you get the squiggly line right here, and then you hit C. Next. And there you go. Hmm, the master says. Close enough. We'll do it. Okay. Sorry for the wait. This is why he's a master. The finest work of all land. Take it, treat it like a heirloom, or heirloom. And we get the mirror shield. Yes, it reflects beams. I don't see any purpose it for it now, and I don't see how it's going to be any useful in Orgo of Ages, so, but we're just going to get it because it's part of the trade, and yes, 
we want our shield forge in Labrena. And this is the secret we want to learn. So, copy it? Alright, let's go to Orgo of Ages. Here we go! Okay, we are back in Orgo of Ages. Now, I just got a new ring at Braids. It's the ring tosser. Um, it allows you to throw objects farther. And we're gonna get the secret to the iron shield, since we only got the wooden shield. What would you do? Goodbye, wooden shield. Let's get the iron shield, shall we? Alright. Yep, 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 okay. Um, that was the at symbol, capital L, capital R, then you got Q, and then you got the down. Here we go! Yay, we get an iron shield! And your secrets have been called for the new power. Come again anytime. Okay, and as you can see, we got the iron shield. It's no different. The mirror shield's gonna look the same. I don't see what's special about it, but hey. It's the Iron Shield, I can care less now. Now, shall we get back to the cavern in the past? Not past, I meant to say present, a level 6 mermaid's cave. So, I'll meet you guys there. Okay, we are at the cave in the present, a level 6, and let's get it started. So, here we go. Now, as you can see, level 6 mermaid cave, the present, is all destroyed, it's old, and it's all beat down. Doesn't look too good. So, well, it's the present, and everything is all wore down. Everything's been used, it's been, I don't know, long gone. I don't know what they did to this dungeon. But, first of all, we want to head over in this direction, and we're gonna get the treasure map. So, or dungeon map, I should, I should say. Okay, so we got that out of the way. Alright, let's get back over. And also, let's go in the water here, and watch out for the bubble, unless you want to get hit by it. Ah, stupid lizards. Eh, they never get old. Alright, just take your sea shooter, shoot your switch, be careful where you step at, because as you can see, the floors do that kind of typical movement. Ah, and it's easy to miss this target too. Okay. So now, since you get in this room, well, as you can see, you can't push none of the blocks, and the ropes are over there. And you, you can see, obviously, you can see there's a treasure that goes here. So, what you want to do is take out your seed satchel, use a scent seed, and then they all fall in a hole. Because of the bad smell that they're attracted to, I have no idea why, but don't ask. Game logics. Um, but for that, we get a small key. Cool. Alright. So now you want to go back in this direction. Now you don't want to stand right here and shoot the sea shooter as you ex exit out that room. You want to stand right here at least and shoot it right there. And make sure you don't fall in the hole so, or else you will be warped back to where you came from. So, have fun shooting right there. And let's go in this room and I think, yeah, there is wall masters. Okay, I was going to say, watch out for the wall masters. Alright, so what you want to do is just go down here and bomb this wall, pretty much. That's all you have to do. Okay, let's collect the goodies out of these pots here. Okay, now there's going to be another bombable wall, but we got to get across the room first. Okay, so now we did that. Now you want to have your rocks feather re ready so you can hop over this hole. And now, for this one, you want to match the colors um, to the blocks. Now, if you push it forward, it's obviously going to land on blue, and it's blue right now, so it's going to land like that. You'll see what I mean once- Alright, I think we're going to get We get a small key. Alright, so that is it for this dungeon. Now, I will see you guys back in the cave in the past. So, I'll see you then. Okay, welcome to the past of Level 6 Mermaid's Cave, the entrance over here. As you can see, it's all water, it's no pit spot, or whatever you want to call it, no Mr. Owl. It's all clean looking, just plain. So, let's get this started. And as you can see, this level 6 looks much cleaner, much newer, much more modern. So, 
this is the past level 6, and as you can see, there's some things that you haven't seen in the present! Like this cracked wall, for example, but we're not gonna go there just yet. We're gonna go over here first, to get our compass. I believe so. Alright, do it like you do it in level 2. Same old, same old. Oh. Okay, and we get a compass! Yay! Okay, so let's hurry, hurry up and get up here. Alright, I don't think we want to go there yet, because there's a locked door. Now you want to light these candles on fires. Just take your time doing that. They can take a lot of damage too, if you keep bumping into them. Surprisingly, so just watch out what you're doing. Stay cautious about it. And I bet there's a bat rolling around here somewhere. Yep. There we go. Okay, so what you want to do is the same thing, or you can use your Pegasus Seed or your Rock's Feather and hop over there, or just get over there like that whatsoever. But the same rules apply, just knock, them, just knock them out, and use your scent seeds and whatsoever. And we get a small key for it, because I know it. Yes, a small key. Okay. Now let's head to that locked door that we... That wasn't locked, apparently, in the present. And let's... Enemies. Alright. Let's... Alright, now as you can see, this room is kind of different, as you saw in the present. Now you just want to use your cane of Brain up, and also there's pots over here, so it's like a little maze that we have to hop over to access the next room. So let's do that. And be careful not to break that certain pot right there that contains a heart, because that's the pot you want to use to land on the switch right here. Alright, so now let's just hop over to pits. And as you can see, we came in from a different entrance. Now, there is wall masters, so be careful about that too as well. They will be a big distraction if you want to run into them by any chance. Okay, now here's the part right here. You want to throw your bomb, and as you can see, it opens a new passageway. Now, we can't do anything else because one, we can't go in that deep water, and two, we don't have a locked key because there's a locked door right here. So, I'll meet you guys back in the past. I mean, ah, I gotta get my future time shift stuff right. I'll meet you guys back in the present. So, I'll see you then. Okay, we are back in the present. Now, we're gonna re-enter this level. Now, as you can see, we got some new entrances like this one. We can go in here and... Well, we get the same rules apply for the candles. Wow, that's nice. I hate these candles so much. Alright, hurry up. Hurry up! Alright, there's one more. There we go. Oh, hurry up and get out of the way. Alright. Now, as you can see, there's some new changes that's been going on. Everything is different, and these things can take a lot of damage, as usual, so, bypass that, here we go, Start. oh, stupid bubble, oh my gosh, stupid tech tights, um, alright, let's get up here, oh, I see what I did wrong, okay, so I was supposed to, um, activate this wall in the past, alright, so, I'm gonna be right Okay, we're back in the past. Now let's do this activation of this wall. Now, as you can see, we got wizard ropes in this room. Now, I told you this dungeon could be really confusing. Alright. So we get a gash of seed. Alright. Cool. Now we gotta deal with the candles once more. Oh my goodness. How many times are we gonna deal with this candle? Okay. Hurry up. That, that. Hurry up, light up, blow up, I don't care. Candles that blow up, I don't want to buy these candles from Pure One Imports. Um, alright. Whoops, okay. Let's go over here first, before activating that wall, to get the treasure map, or dungeon map. Oh my goodness, why do I keep saying treasure map? What is wrong with me? Wind Waker, huh? Yeah. Or Phantom Hourglass. 
Alright, so now you wanna do this. Oh, okay. Alright. What? Here we go. Bam. And boom. There's the wall. And as you can see, we got one ember seat left. And as you can see, we can't go in here. Going anywhere, because we'll get it right back up. Okay, so I'll meet you guys in the past. Ah, why am I keep saying that? Past? Meet you guys in the present, and at that same spot we just were at, and as you can see, the, mall, the wall will be removed. So, I'll meet you guys back there. Okay, we are back. Now, as you can see, the wall has moved. Now we have access to this treasure chest and a pair of stairs. And we get a compass from this chest, and let's go down the stairs. Alright. Alright, so your rock feathers, hop across these pits right here. Oh, watch out for the thorns. And as you can see, I fell down. Here we go. Alright, let's hop onto this platform right here. And wait for it, and here we are. Okay, so what you want to do is... Well, before we open that, there's a treasure chest I want to get first. And watch out for the blue wizard robes, they can be a pain in the butt sometimes. And watch out for the Beemos! Oh my gosh, I hate the Beemos. Ah, oh boy. That's nice. Alright, we get 10 rupees for that. That? Yeah, you ain't gonna touch nobody. You can't touch me. Alright. Right here, we want this. Okay, so now the beetles can't touch us. Now this room is one or the other. So just keep pulling. It doesn't matter. Oh. Alright, apparently that's the wrong one, so just keep pulling, just keep pulling. That's all you have to do. It doesn't matter. It's one or the other. Like in level 6, there's those random multiple choice thingies, whatever you want to call it. Oh, oh my goodness. Alright, so if I pull the other one, it better not make no buzzing sound. It better not. Yeah, I see that coming. Oh boy. Why? Oh my goodness, this is very really getting annoying. I want that. Oh my goodness, this is really getting ridiculous. Why doing this while recording? Why? Oh my goodness! At least we're getting money and parts and seeds from this. About time! Oh my goodness. And we get the boss key. That's the key we want. Alright. So I'll meet you guys at the beginning of the dungeon, in the present, and I'll see you there. Okay, we're back at the beginning of the dungeon. Um, as you can see, I went to restore my health, um, as I was running low. And I ran into battle with maple syrup again, and also I lost to her over a ring. So, who cares? Let's go finish the rest of this dungeon now. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh, nope, wrong direction. Alright. Let's go up here. Now, what you want to do is hit the switch again. Bam. Alright. Now, let's do it again. And after that, you want to go over where we blew the hole at, so, which is right here. And as you see, things are a lot different right here. Now, things aren't normal, you can... I don't know what you want to call it, but they're just not the same. Alright, so there's a treasure chest in that room, but we're going to go loop around the circle once again. Alright, so what you want to do is loop around again. And after that, it's going to lead us to the room again where the treasure chest is. This long path of nothingness. Alright. 
and we get a small key! Yay! Alright, so we got a small key, and hurry up and make our way to the other side. Alright, so what we're trying to do is go right here, do this. Now, as you see, it's going to all come together. And after that, ta-da! Then just do the same thing again. And then boom, here we are. This is where we want to be at. Okay. Now, as you see, we got the um, key to open this locked door. And we ran into this guy again. That's nice. I am amazed you came this far. I thought you were a harmless turtle, but you escalated. Oh, uh, who cares? Yeah, yeah, you'll finish me off. Yeah, all right. You're ain't serious. Now you're gonna try to be more cautious about yourself, aren't you? Hurry up! Just run into me or something. Oh my goodness. I hate this bat. Get to my nerves. Where are you, kid? That's nice. Ugh! There we go. Alright, let's take him out. There we go. Huh! Yeah! Get out of here! Yeah, you lost twice! Follow me all the way over here. Okay, now that we have beat him already. Oh, wow, there's the wizard robes already. Bomb the cracked walls or. Yeah, bomb the crack bricks. Now this can get a little tricky too. At least you don't have the bomb ring that holds the bombs, and then after that, until you throw them, they explode finally. Alright, so for all that hard work, we get the mermaid suit! Yay! Now you can swim in deep waters, that dark blue stuff. And after that, we have to press the um, D-pad simultaneously, and we can push the B to die. And you can go in the ocean too, and, and use items, so that's even a bonus right there. An ocarina of time, you can't even use nothing in the water except your hookshot. But this one you can use like hookshot, your sword, and whatsoever, so I guess probably that's where Twilight Princess got their idea from. Alright, so now with all that said, I'll meet you guys at the beginning of the dungeon. Okay, I think we're done with the present, so... Um, before we go in the past and finish out the rest of the dungeon, I want to show you guys a neat trick. What this mermaid suit can do. And we'll get that app raised later. We seriously will. Okay. As you see, that's what it does. Okay. Let's go into the present. I mean, past. Oh my goodness, there I go, messing up again. Okay, let's finish out this dungeon, once and for all. Let's get level 6 over with! Alright, so first of all, we're just gonna head over here. And, just don't worry about it. And we gotta get a few things before we head into the boss. Alright, so... With that being said, no further ado, everything is all done in the past. Now, do we got the boss key? Yes, we do! Alright! There's only a few treasures we're missing down below the deep waters of the ocean. Alright, time to swim like a mermaid lake. And also you can use your sea shooter and ember seas down here, which I find that very, 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 very weird. Alright, so... And watch out for the jellyfishes, of course. They will shock you if you touch them, just like an offering at a time in Jabu's belly. Um, and also, if you go down this flight of stairs, you don't need to use your rock spider. You can just swim right over it. Like, it's awesome, ain't it? But this part, you can use both, like, A and B, so it don't matter. But only in this area is, like, I don't know why, but you only can use items that's clipped in an A. And watch out for the holes, too, so the holes can get quite annoying too as well. Um... Alright, and we get 
A small key. Alright. So I'll meet you guys at the beginning of the dungeon in the past. I'll see you there. Okay, let's finish this dungeon once and for all. Now, as you can see, why I got the shovel. Um, I was digging around for hearts. Alright, so... Let's finish this dungeon. Forever. Finally, we're out of this piece of crap. Hate this dungeon so much. Um, and as you can see, watch out for the wizard robes, and I don't know why there's so many of them. At least we're not playing the first Legend of Zelda. That would have been a bummer right there. That would have been the worst time to meet wizard robes for the first time in your life, and they would have gave you just terrible help. Alright, so... That being said, let's hurry up and bomb these blocks. There we go. Now let's just make our way around the pretty little uh, square. Right? Uh, yeah. Now you might want to restore your health and collect all your goodies wherever you have. Because the next room, I believe, is the final room in the dungeon. And that, then from there, we go to the boss. So let's open this locked door. Oh, wait. Before we do that, I want to go exploring down here. Alright, so what's up here? Alright, you might want to take the path I'm going to because, well, you get shot by a bunch of arrows and etc. Alright, so, I'm gonna go there. Oh, never mind, there's more arrows, so we can't get rid of them. Oh well. Just try your best to avoid them. Ouch, that's nice. Alright, now what you want to do is take your switch hook and place all the objects on the tiles that's all you have to do it's nothing to particular order how you do it it's just place them on the tiles all right there we go bam all right oh come on there we go there we go Here we go. Here we go. There we go. And for that, we get a small key. Cool. Alright. I uh, didn't mean to use that. Okay. Now let's get out of this stupid water. Got a lot of videos going right here from switching on and off. Because I know they're going to make it one big giant long video that's going to have extra place of useful gameplay in there. Just wanna hurry up and get it as much as done as possible. Okay, so here we go. Here's the final room of level six. Alright. Alright. I think you wanna put your canis a block here right now. Okay, yep, here that's that's the, that's it. Okay. Come on! Come on! Dang it! Why won't you work? Uh, probably have to put it in the other way. Alright. There we go. Alright. Finally, we can face the boss. Let's kill this boss! Oh, Alright, now what you want to do is hit the back of his head and watch out for his rocks. Like that. There you go. Now form spin attacks and try to stay kind of away from his head. So, so you won't get shot by the rocks. Oh, okay. So you can hit the rocks. Now we gotta go underwater. That's nice. Oh, okay, we can use our sea shooter then. Uh, I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna use my sword. Alright. Alright, here we go. Ah, uh, come on, are you serious? Oh, okay, that works! <laughs> Just end it with the poke! And we get a heart container, alright! And after that, two more dungeons left. Alright. 
So for that, we get the Bree Bree Reef Bree Reef Peak Bree Reft Peak. I don't care what it is now. <laughs> Essence of time. Okay. Okay, so we got that now. Yay. Alright. Finally. Oh, okay. Great, now we have access to Queen Empire's castle now. Okay, but that's gonna be in the next video where we get to sneak in Queen Empire's castle and actually get to save Nehru for once. And that might be the end of the game. Alright, so next time we're gonna do that. And if you guys have any questions, comments, just let me know. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks.